guys and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is a collective haul for the month of July. I asked a couple of you guys on Facebook if you wanted me to do a collective haul. I haven't done a lot of those before and I don't know why because I love watching these kind of videos myself so I thought I'd start making more of those. Um, so if you'd like me to do that, maybe put something in the comments so that I know you guys like this. Also give it a thumbs up if you like it. Before I get started, just a short disclaimer, everything you see in this video was ordered and paid for by me. None of these products were sent to me for free. So with that said, let's get started. First thing I'm going to talk about is the lipstick that I'm wearing. Very purple and lovely, no? If you've followed me for a while, you know that I've been looking for really purple uh, lipsticks for a while. They're tricky to come by. They usually look purple, but then they kind of just come out pink and the ones that are this kind of purple are usually crazy expensive or they're not cruelty free so there's like no middle ground i've been so pissed for a long time uh, about not being able to find one but now i have and this little guy is actually part of a kit of 12 lipsticks i'm just gonna pick the one up that i'm wearing right now um they're called femme lipstick and they are by a brand called clean color and that is clean with a k uh, I think it is a US based brand if I'm not mistaken and they do not test on animals so yay on that. So I found these on eBay. I didn't buy them directly from the company although I think that it was their eBay page that I bought it from. Stupid as I am I did uh, <laughs> remove the actual order from my eBay account so I don't remember what I paid but I know that it was really cheap. I paid like what I would pay for one lipstick. And I got 12. So Clean Color, um, they kind of put they, they put these together in different packs. They have shitloads of different colors, and they're all very highly pigmented, as you can see. And then if you maybe don't want the rainbow set that is the one that I have, then you can select like one that has more brownish tones, more golden tones, or whatever. Just search for them on eBay, and you'll be able to find them. I'm not gonna be able to put them all on my face and everything. I'm not gonna be able to test every single product because this video is gonna become the longest video ever so i'm gonna swatch them on my hand really quickly for you guys and yeah the one that i'm wearing is number 12 out of the 12 that i have so let's start with number one which is a uh, lighting struck this is lovely yellow color and as you guys know when you swatch them on your hand you don't get the same result as you do on your lips because your lips have different pigmentation than your hands so it's not going to be exact but you know it's the yellow one and then the next one is this lovely green one which is number two it's called envious desire and it looks like this like a nice forest green cannot wait to start wearing these and number three is this lovely ice blue one it's called georgia very inspired by frozen if you want to do look like that can you see that so very like super light blue and then the next one is number four, called Skydive, which is slightly darker, but still a very light blue. Hopefully you can see these swatches. I'm going to be using this in upcoming makeup tutorials as well, so you'll be seeing more of them ahead. Uh, next one is this Cotton Candy Pink, which is number five. It's called Happily After. Happily After. So it's just classic bright pink. And you can't see anything. Ah, I don't know if the camera's picking this up. Sorry, guys. Do, do, do. Number six is a light sort of lilac, uh, and it's called Cast of a Spell. It's amazing. Very bright, pale lilac. And then number seven is this limey one. It's called Magic Lime. This is not necessarily the order that I would put them in because they don't follow the rainbow here, but whatever. And then here's an orange one, which is called Tingling Mimosa. It's number eight. Let's put that up here. Bright orange, lovely. Number nine is this kind of fuchsia hot pink color, and it's called Pink Seeker. Just put that down below. So that's this one right here. Uh, number 10 is an even darker pink, and it's called uh, Flirty Tango. Lurdy Tango. This is the fuchsia one. See the darker one right here? And number 11 is this amazing ocean dark blue, which is called After Hours. Love it! Perfect for those dark gothic lips. And every, I can see like when I'm looking in the camera here that everything's coming up a little bit 
lighter than it actually is in real life so kind of imagine these a little bit darker and you get the drift last one number 12 is called purple machine and that is the one that i'm wearing right now I'm just gonna swatch that on my hand so you can compare see how light it looks here compared to on my lips that's what the lighting will do to you all right so that was those so those were from clean color i'm gonna post all the links below to all of these companies uh, but like i said i got these off of ebay Moving on, I uh, also ordered a ton of stuff from e.l.f. They had one of their crazy sales. Again, I love e.l.f. They do this all the time. They have a 51% off of everything sale. So I picked up a couple of things and one of those things was a shitload of brushes. One of you guys requested um, on my Facebook post that I did about when I took a photo of all this stuff asking you guys guys if you wanted me to do a collected haul and one of you said that you'd like me to talk a bit about the elf brushes so i'm going to try to squeeze that in right now um basically every single time that i order anything from elf i order a shit ton of brushes even if i don't particularly need them because i love elf brushes elf are my favorite brushes ever they're cruelty free they're synthetic they come in so many different varieties they're super cheap i use them on myself and in my professional kit you don't need any other brushes. These are amazing. So quickly, just to take you through the ones that I got, I got a bronzing blush, small powder brush, blending eye brush, that's my favorite one, eyeshadow brush, small concealer brush, an eye crease brush, a total face brush that I mostly use as just a blusher brush, a small precision brush, a small stipple brush, and these are amazing for when you do liquid foundation. You just kind of go like this and then it's done. <laughs> so simple. And then the final one is a smudge brush. So those are all the brushes I got. I love, love, love e.l.f. I love the entire brand, but the brushes are actually my favorite. Um, the reason why I love getting synthetic brushes is, number one, no poor squirrel or other cute animal had to die in order to make the brush. That's always a big plus. And synthetic brushes are so much easier to clean, especially when you're using like grease products or oily products. Oil is fucking impossible to get out of um, brushes that contain natural hair. So synthetic all the way, guys. I always recommend that. All right, so the products that I got, other than the brushes from e.l.f. First of all, I got this one. This is a body shimmer, sexy soft shimmer for a healthy glowing look. I'm gonna try that one before. Swatch it somewhere where there's room. Ooh, look at that. You could use that as a blusher, I bet. And it's kind of bronzy, but pink, which is perfect for us pale people. I like that. Body shimmer. And then I got a blush in Pink Passion. It's one of the studio blushes. Sorry, I should show you the package before I open it. I love the packaging, by the way. It's simple, but elegant. Black works for me. So it is a bright, hot pink, which is basically the only color I use. Lovely. It has a little mirror. In here that's good next up i got three custom eyeshadows uh these come you can buy like packages for them so these are loose the ones that i got are 2503 ivory these this white one uh 2501 wisteria which is a lilac and then 2509 which is dusk like a dark gray i'm gonna quickly swatch them for you so they arrived like this and they have magnets in the back, so I can put them in my, like, the palettes, magnet palettes that I have. I think this one would make a nice shimmer. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Amazing. It's a very highly pigmented. I love Elf. doesn't have to be crap, even though it's cheap. So this is, like, a darkish, metal-y gray. And then the uh, Wisteria one looks like that. That is a lovely lilac. Then I got uh, two flawless eyeshadow palettes, small eyeshadow palettes that have four colors each. From top to bottom, it's meant to be a uh, base, lid, crease, and line. So if you want to follow these directions or not, do whatever you like. So this one contains a white one, a light gray one, a dark gray one, and a black. This one contains a sort of pinkish purple. Um, a fuchsia, a dark purple, and a super super dark purple. Sorry, the name of the one with the purples is called Party Purple. It's uh, number D30. And they always come with a little mirror at the bottom and a little applicator. Not that I ever use these kind of applicators, but, you know. Okay, so this is the lightest one. This is the other one. The darker one and then the darkest 
those four together I'm sure will look amazing. And again, highly pigmented but still cheap. All of the stuff you see from e.l.f., every single thing, together with the brushes and everything, I paid like 250 Swedish krona. It's insane prices. Okay, so here's the lightest one from the black and gray palette, which, by the way, is called Smoky OL01. Don't know if you can see that, but it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. And then the gray one, the darker gray one, and then the darkest one right there. Looking good. And then I just got one of their liquid eyeliners. Just the fine tip brush. Creates easy to find and precise lines. It's number 4203 in black. This is just my everyday eyeliner that I love. Then I don't remember ordering this because it's gold. So I guess they just sent it to me as like a gift. It's called Copper. And it is a golden liquid eyeliner. I guess I could use it in my kit, but I never, or rarely, I should say, use golden tones. And then I got myself an eyelid primer. I haven't tried this one before, so it should be fun to try it out. And then the absolutely final thing from e.l.f. is the Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick. I'm addicted to these suckers. Um, I know that H&M makes like a super cheap version of these. Well, these are crazy cheap too. I think this one is cheaper than the one from H&M actually. I have all the ones from H&M and I really liked this one. Uh, so it's gonna be like a nice nude color. Cool. That is all for e.l.f. Let's continue. I also ordered some stuff from Crazy Factory. If you don't know what that is, that is an online shop for piercing jewelry. Since this video is already really long, I'm not gonna have time to try everything on. Sorry guys. I am gonna try to try the plugs. That should be fast. So the first set of plugs I got are black silicone ones that have a piece symbol. I'm a size 14 millimeters, by the way, if you guys are wondering. So that's that one. And then I got three just regular flared silicone ones. So white. These are so comfortable. I have these in like every single color twice now, I think. So white ones. And then pink ones. And then light green or lime green ones. I also got a pair of acrylic ones. These are blue and they have little glitters. And then I just thought they were cute. So I'm gonna do turquoise hair later and I thought these would look nice with that. And then I also got a pair of metallic plugs that I thought were just so beautiful. I have to zoom in for you guys. So they look like this. Just might look like this on. Those were all the plugs and tunnels that I got this time. And then the other stuff is all piercing jewelry for my oral piercings. So there are just a couple of little balls, a couple of labrettes, a couple of half moon barbels or horseshoe barbels or whatever you want to call these. Black long spikes, black short spikes, rainbow spikes, short ones, and full rings. So, or and just a couple more, like nothing too exciting. I don't have time to show all of that off right now. Sorry, guys. And then two final items are clothing. Both of these I got on eBay. The first one, I don't know what the brand is. It's some Asian brand. It is these like white shimmery leggings with skull pattern on it. Love those. And then one of my favorite brands, Punk Wave, I make these amazing trashy sweaters. I got them in a couple colors and I got like a solid black one it's just i think it just looks amazing so that is it you guys that is all for my july haul if you have any questions as always pop them in the comments and i'll get back to you requests go there as well don't forget to follow me on facebook just go to facebook.com slash the tasmania page and you shall find me there for daily updates thank you for watching and i'll see you next time